Hi there, Steve from CCL. Today we're taking a look at the Pallet GTX 680. This is the Jetstream edition, the 2 gig version, which ships with slightly better clock speeds than the 4 gig, and it's their Jetstream cooling array on there, which results in uh, better cooling, hence better overclocking. So yeah, I'll show you around the box, we'll uh, have a look around, and then we'll see what it looks like. Right, okay, so I've pulled in just a little bit closer now so we can look around the packaging before we open the graphics card. It's a very well laid out box, it's got a door on the front, a uh, little window there so we can see the graphics card in all its glory. And on the back of the door, we can see an overview of the features. So we've got the Dr. Moss 6 phase PWM PCI Express 3.0, uh, three simultaneous DVI monitors out of the box. Now it doesn't have three DVI ports on it, but you can use an adapter. Optimized airflow, which enables this to run cooler, quieter, and get a better overclock out of it. Uh, LED lighting in the fans. Now I'm not sure if that's all three or just a central one, as uh, Pallet's video did show it on just a central one. Uh, triple fan array, turbo fan blade, so they've tweaked the pitch of the fan blades to get mo more airflow for the RPM on there. So yeah, I mean there's quite a lot of features in this for a graphics card. So let's uh, open it up and have a look. Right, okay, so I've just cut the top on the box now, so let's actually get the card out and have a look at it. Uh, nothing in there. Right, it's quite well packaged there, with uh, plenty of plastics around the graphics card, so it should be safe in transit. The actual graphics card itself, which I'm going to pop to one side for now. Accessories panel. Right, okay, we have a dual 6-pin PCI Express to single 8-pin. The driver installation CD. A quick installation guide. A male HDMI to DVI. Right, okay, so that's for on the back of the graphics card. Um, as it says, it supports 3 DVI, but it only has 2 ports on it. So that turns the HDMI port into a DVI port for you there. And we have a DVI to VGA adapter there for our people running old school monitors. That's all for the accessories. So let's actually have a quick look at the card. So there's the card with all three fans. We've got a 9cm, 8cm and 8cm fan on there. It has an 8-pin and a 6-pin PCI Express power port on there. Connections we have... Display port, HDMI, and two DVI. We've obviously got the SLI connectors there. Apart from that, there's not much going on with the fan uh, or the graphics card that I can show you. You can kind of see the heat pipe array in there. Um, I might put some of the pallet reference footage at the end of this video just so you can have a better look. The only thing that people have been commenting about on this card as well is it does have RAM chips exposed on the exterior on the 4 gig model. Uh, this is a 2 gig model, which as I said, does ship with slightly better overclock than the 4 gig. So yeah, that pretty much covers it for the graphics card. There's not much else that I can tell you or show you really. So that pretty much covers our unboxing and overview of the Pallet GTX 680 Jetstream. Now as I say, there are a 2 gig and 4 gig version of these available. I'll link to both in the description if I can. Um, so yeah, we've got these in stock. They are available selling quick. So if you can rate, comment and subscribe. My name's Steve. I'll catch you later.